What is it actually like on a river cruise? They say you deserve only the best. On a river cruise with a super ship Maria Teresa. I know there is a cinema on the ship. I would like to know this in more details and watch a film about it. Many rivers in Europe have their source in the Alps of Switzerland. After 517 km through Switzerland, Austria and Germany, the river Inn flows into Passau. The Inn is joined by the Ilz near Passau and together they flow into the Danube, the second longest river in Europe at 2850 km. The Maria Theresa is moored for embarkation with some other ships a little outside Passau. Since we arrived early, we have some time. We borrow bikes and use the opportunity to get to know Passau a little bit better. The headland of Passau has a nice beach and some nice street cafes. And not far away is the old town of Passau with its charming little streets, the parish church of St. Paul and the marketplace. But how endangered the city is during floods is shown here by the water levels where the water once stood. But now we have to go back to the ship. Because for the small crossing to the old town of Passau all must be on board. And so we spent the first night in Passau on board of the ship Maria Theresa. The next morning after breakfast our stage room is magically tidy again. Afterwards the lines are cast off and we start our river cruise towards Vienna. Shortly after Passau, the middle of the Danube is a border between Germany and Austria. The trip does not take long and we reach the lock Jochenstein. Now we have crossed the border and are in Austria. We navigate into the night and arrive finally in Linz. The breakfast buffet offers a generous choice. But I decided to have a small breakfast. Because on the program today is a trip to the city of Linz.
In Linz, a typical specialty from this region awaits us. Café Traxelmeier is a traditional coffee house in the old Viennese coffee house style. And here are served one of the best Linz cakes. The recipe for the Linzer Torte was written down by the Italian Countess Anna Margarita Sacramosa in Verona in 1653. This makes the Linzer Torte the oldest surviving cake recipe in the world. After the pleasure, please, some culture. Linz Mariendom is not the highest, but the largest church in Austria and has room for 20,000 visitors. The Pöstlingbergbahn has been in existence since 1898. After about 20 minutes of travel, the tram has traveled 2.8 kilometers and has come over a height difference of 255 meters. At an altitude of 540 meters is a popular excursion destination with a viewing platform that offers a magnificent panoramic view of Linz. It's time to go back to the ship. Because in the night, the Maria Teresa departs the river cruise continues to milk. We are still cruising in the direction of milk. still gives me the opportunity to get fit for the day in the gym. The Maria Teresa has also a small coffee corner where you can get a coffee at any time 24-7. River cruising can also be enjoyed on the sun deck. Halfway from Linz to Vienna, Melk is on the Danube located. Hundreds of thousands of guests are attracted to Melk every year to visit the world famous Benedictine Abbey. said too. Melk Abbey is one of the most beautiful and largest contiguous baroque ensemble in Europe. Its magnificent architecture is known worldwide and is a UNESCO worldwide heritage site built in the period from 1702 to 1739. In Dürnstein we find the picturesque courtyard of the town hall. And a beautiful landscape cemetery, even it is a little creepy.
In the crypt should be the bones of the fallen from the battle November 1805, which took place here. On the way back to the ship, the rain catches us. We wait until the rain passes, because there's still a way to walk to the ship. But then, with the evening program, we are already tuned to Vienna. Still, with this beautiful music in our ears, we continue the river cruise. Every now and then, another cruise ship comes towards us. There's always something beautiful to discover and photograph. With low bridges, the wheelhouse moves down. And then we arrived in Vienna in the evening. Next morning, we start with a good breakfast. And think about what we can discover in Vienna today. With a good cup of coffee comes to me the ideas to cycle with the bikes to Vienna. This means we are independent and have the best opportunity to see the city the way we want to. While we and the other guests of the Maria Teresa discover the city for themselves, the ship is supplied with fresh goods. The ice cream parlor at Swedenplatz is at least one of the best, if not the best ice cream parlor in Vienna. And this is of course our first destination in Vienna. While we are just starting to explore, preparations for the evening program are already underway on board. Thunder Fontaine is the name of the fontaine built in 1739. It leads us further to the city hall of Vienna. The Volksgarten is the first public park in Vienna and was opened in 1823. The Caesar's Temple is a replica of the ancient Greek temples. Now we continue with the march and song of Torreadores from opera Carmen by Georges Bizet. <laughs>
Vienna Pada is a location of the Ferris wheel and one of the most famous Viennese landmarks. It is also a fairground for a lot, but for some it is also a green oasis. Because the area of the Prada is extensive and includes not only the exhibition grounds, but it is also considered the green lung of Vienna. When I look back at the time of the river cruise on the Danube, so the slogan of the Maria Theresa has found its absolute justification. You deserve the best. And so we have.